Hi, welcome to another video. This time I'll talk about the best free titanium backup alternative. When we talk about backups on Android, the same name comes up again and again. For many years, this program was the ultimate choice when it came to backups on Android. Unfortunately, the program has not been updated for many years. As a result, it no longer works properly in higher Android versions. Time to look around for an free alternative. A good website for this is Alternative 2, where you can find alternatives to almost any program. I have tested most, if not all, of the alternatives listed. Ultimately, the first program listed, Neo Backup, is the best. It is regularly updated and supports current Android versions. Another place to search for apps is FDroid. FDroid is an alternative to the Google Play Store. Here you will find many free, open source apps. Give it a try. In this particular case, I recommend using GitHub instead of FDroid. Here you can download the source code or submit your bug reports. Download the APK from the releases section on the right. Now download the APK to your smartphone and install the application. If you are using Enio Backup, please note that you must be rooted in order to use the APP properly. Now let's take a quick look at the user interface and the most important user settings. After starting, all apps installed on the device are loaded and displayed. The program is easy to use once you have understood how it works. Let's start with the user settings. NEO Backup has a lot of setting options. I won't go into every single setting in this video. The good thing is that this is not necessary as most of the settings are self-explanatory. I don't like the animated laser in the background of the main window, so I turn it off. The other settings are fine by default and generally don't need to be changed. If something goes wrong when using the application, you can check the log file. Press the information symbol to open a short help dialog. There you can find out more about the meaning of the used icons. You'll understand what I'm talking about when I show you how to use the program in detail in a moment. If you scroll down there, you will find more useful information. Some restrictions are also listed there. For example, Signal, the better WhatsApp alternative, cannot be restored without further ado. But don't worry. Most applications are supported and work perfectly. Android often comes with POI installed applications. These applications are sometimes installed as system applications and cannot simply be uninstalled. By the way, when you open the ABP Manager, you can deactivate certain applications that you are not using to save battery power. I use Lineage OS as my everyday operating system, which fortunately is not bloated from the ground up. But even in Lineage OS, you cannot deactivate or uninstall certain apps. With Enio Backup, you can disable or uninstall basically any application. However, it is advisable to be careful and to know ex- Let's now take a closer look at how you can use the application. I will briefly explain the most important buttons. Press the magnifying glass to search for applications. You can use the button to the right to reload the application list in the main window. To hide applications from the main window, add them to the block list. You can hide or sort applications here. There are many settings here. It is best to try out for yourself what happens when you make a certain setting. To select and create a backups of an applications, Click on the button next to the home page at the bottom of the screen. Then select the application you want to back up. Note that there are two checkboxes. One is for the application data and the other is for backing up the application itself. Then hit the backup button. Depending on the application and the amount of data, this can take quite a while. So be patient. As can be seen from the corresponding symbols, the backup was successful. Use the Restore button to restore a backup. If you want to restore the APP on another smartphone, you must first copy the backup files to the new device in the corresponding folder. Select the application you wish to backup. Note that there are two checkboxes. One is for the application data and the other will backup the applications itself. Once you have selected what you want to restore, click the button to continue. 
you can use the various commands for several applications at the same time. Simply select all the applications you want first and press the menu button. Now, you can back up or restore all applications at once. Or enable, disable or uninstall them as you wish. To get more information about a specific ABP, simply select the ABP. Another screen will then open, giving you access to further commands. The Exodus report contains information about implemented trackers and required permissions. Here you can deactivate, terminate, backup, restore and uninstall an APP. NEO Backup is very versatile, so use it however you like best. NEO Backup is an excellent alternative to the outdated Titanium Backup. The best thing about it is, it's free software and open source. After watching this video tutorial, you should be able to freeze or uninstall system applications. You will also now be able to back up and restore almost any Android application. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Do you know what projection is? Do you? No, I, I heard mom use it.